I'm Nick Brusky, an equipment operator with the street department in the city of Elgin. And this is a street sweeper wind up toy circa 1940. In 1911, Elgin was no one horse town. Although the first automobile had come to Elgin in 1900, by 1911, horses still far outnumbered cars in town. And although most of Elgin's downtown streets were paved, the combination of waste from horses and ordinary dust and debris caused streets that were dirty and unsightly. Elgin's fourth ward alderman, John M. Murphy, an automobile enthusiast and newly appointed superintendent of streets, knew that dirty streets were a potential health hazard and a danger to motorists such as himself. He decided to tackle this problem head on. In 1911, Murphy developed a plan for a three-wheeled motorized sweeper that could sprinkle water onto city streets to settle the dust, flick the debris onto a conveyor belt, and collect everything in an onboard box. He took his idea to local Elgin manufacturing firm, American Tower and Tank, and soon a prototype was ready for a test run on National Street. The first sale was to the city of Boise, Idaho in 1914. Other sales followed until by 1919, Elgin made street sweepers were being used in 100 US cities and three foreign countries. Today, Elgin sweepers are found in municipal public work garages all over the world. Prices have increased, of course. A Pelican, the most popular model, and one that retains the shape and quick mobility of the three-wheeled original, now costs over $225,000. The Elgin Sweeper plant is no longer located at the foot of Oak Street, across the street from the watch factory. You'll find Elgin Sweeper on West Bartlett Road, where 350 employees build units that are still the best known in the industry. Museum Moments is brought to you by the City of Elgin, a top city for people to live, create opportunities, grow their families and businesses, and enjoy visiting year-round and by the Florence B. and Cornelia A. Palmer Foundation, supporting the arts in Elgin since 1997.